Hey guys, so what is the most state of the art in cinema sound today? Well, digital processing has come a really long way, and that means that we can start to actually create some signal correction, not just for the room or decoding the massive soundtracks that we have in the way of Dolby Atmos, but there's another area where digital sound processing can give us stronger performance, more clarity, and more drive than ever before. And this is in the way of a speaker controller, at least that's what Theory Audio are calling their new uh, speaker amplifier sound system. So what is DSP control? So DSP is digital sound processing. This is where the electronics have a way of manipulating the original soundtrack signal to suit what was traditionally the shortcomings of the room. But this has come a really long way, so much so that uh, if a amplifier and speaker brand can work together, or in this case, the same brand as a whole, the shortcomings within the speaker itself can be repaired or fixed or altered in the amplifier. Why is this important? Well, speakers are actually these days the weakest link of the chain. So there's more distortion, phase issues, more issues. It doesn't matter how much effort goes into the speaker in which there's a lot of work that goes into a speaker and um, they've certainly got a lot better. However, they still have their issues. So what if those shortcomings can be mapped and the signature of that speaker mapped over to an amplifier so the amplifier can actually uh, fine tune and tweak those shortcomings and remove it before the speaker then uh, exaggerates it. So this is really cool, and this is nothing new. I mean, Meridian Audio have been digital, been doing digital speakers for ages, where the amplifier understands the signature of the drive units, and it all comes together as a better balanced whole. Pro Audio Tech, which is actually the, the parent sister, I'd say parent company of Theory Audio, which I've got here today. So Pro Audio Tech have DSP in every single amplifier and every single amplifier drives a different drive unit inside their speakers. This is the most cutting edge and advanced form of audio today. And it's what the Pro Audio world uses as well. They have uh, direct amplifiers per unit. Now what makes Theory Audio a little bit different is we're actually using DSP for the whole speaker. So here we've got their new, I think it's, what is it called? SB25 loudspeaker. You can kind of see through the, this is the most disappointing part of the speaker. I can't take the grill off to look at the cool carbon fiber drivers in here. This is a twin five inch carbon driver with a compression style tweeter, which means it can play very loud and clear. It's in an all aluminum box. It's rather slimline, so it is very sexy. In fact, they do some sound bars uh, in this range as well. So what we're getting is a very balanced high performance speaker, though it is a single input. So it looks like a passive speaker, you run, run one big amplifier, full range amp, into the speaker, off you go. That's how it usually works in the way of passive speakers. But Theory Audio is a little bit different. So we do run the full range signal into their speaker controller from an audio processor. But then the amplifier here uh, through their control system, we map each channel to the specific speaker. So we, the amplifier knows what speaker it's running. And again, any of the shortcomings or limits of the speaker are programmed into the amp. So we're going to get the maximal resolution, clarity, and drive out of each unit. So the speaker controller has the secret source. And let's have a little closer look. It's pretty crazy. This is only one RU of product, so it's only about less than 50 mil, a couple of inches in height. And it has, you can see here, eight channels of input. We can use this via direct cable. It's got the little dongles here to actually run a traditional XLR style connector. So this is actually a fully balanced design. This is used in the pro world and high-end audio really only, so they're actually using really high quality connectors to make sure the quality gets through. And then we've got these big up to 10 gauge speaker terminals on the way out. So we've actually got nine channels of amplification, 1800 watts available out of this one RU package. This looks kind of cool. Theory Audio 
embroidered into the, or stamped into the casework. So this is where all the brains of the operation goes. We can configure this in a number of different ways. We got three lots of 300 watt for subs. We get another six channels times 100 watt, but we can actually bridge these guys up. So for our demo room, because let's face it, knowing the history on these guys, uh, the parent company and Paul Hales, who's the lead director, uh, I got very excited. So I haven't heard the system yet. And I thought, you know what, let's go for it. We're going to demo it in our new Scarborough showroom here in Western Australia and uh, show off something pretty cool. And we thought we'll go all in. And we've actually ordered two of these speaker controllers. So we can actually run up to a 9.4.6 Dolby Atmos system. And it's allowing us to bridge the channels in this and run over 300 watts to each of our front speakers. So these guys are really having some massive dynamics. So... It is a pretty system. I didn't order it because it's pretty. I ordered it because of the performance we're expecting. So some really cool stuff there. Now, I mentioned the speaker controller has three 300 watt outputs for subwoofers. So the subwoofer system in this is passive. That is the speaker boxes run off speaker cable and powered off the speaker controller. I've got one behind me here, which is they come in no less than 12 inch size subs or 15s. Now, we know with any great cinema system, you absolutely need strong bass. 30 40% of the impact, the sound, the quality perception of the audio comes from the bass. So they are not mucking around here. Um, interestingly, they're, they're, they're quite large, uh, considering the speakers and everything else is really small. So that's a bit surprising. No big deal in my custom cinema here. They're black boxes in a black room. They pretty well are sight unseen. However, they are launching some custom style speakers later in the year where we're going to have super slimline subwoofers that can hide in walls or, you know, sit alongside the lounge and or behind acoustic speaker screens. So looking forward to that. Um, that's all coming out later in the year. And we already know that Pro Audio Tech do slimline high powered subwoofers. So absolutely going to be no problem for these guys. I think it was really just uh, the pecking order of the production run because this is all brand brand new and just shipping so guys that's some insights to the new theory audio uh, speaker systems they do have sound bars you can configure it from 2.1 channels uh, three channel front end sound bar or what we're using in our cinema room we're using the independent satellite speakers so we can actually mount these specifically in the ideal locations around the cinema room um, we're going to run these for LCRs, surrounds, backs, Atmos, the whole lot. Um, going to be absolutely awesome. And yeah, we've got two speaker controllers, so we're going to have heaps of juice on this one. So price point wise, uh, I'll have to check. Um, it is basically going to compete against um, a pre-power, a traditional big pre-power system with something like our triad sort of silvers or golds, which we've been running a lot of. So it's entering a price point we haven't seen before. It's a lot less than the Pro Audio Tech price point. So um, hence, we're going to give this a go, see how it goes. So we'll um, show more on the installation coming up shortly and certainly be reporting on the performance that was squeezed out of this new Theory Audio Dolby Atmos sound system. Uh, guys, for more, let us know. Comment. Let us know what you need to know more about. I kind of just punch these videos out and I might have missed something that you guys are really looking for, or there could actually be something I've glossed over and you're like, what does he mean by sub bass or speaker controller? So let me know. Uh, I'll be as helpful as possible. Uh, so remember to subscribe and learn more about the cutting edge of cinema. That's what we're all about here at Rogue is professional, high quality cinema without a compromise. All right. Catch you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.